Hello all. Okay, so here's my book talk on What My Mother Doesn't Know by Sonia Sones. Um, I really love this book. So, um, a synopsis. There's this girl and her name is Sophie and she kind of goes over her falling in love process with boys. Um, three to be exact. Three different boys. And I don't want to tell you too much because if you read the book you um, can figure out who the last one is. So I'm going to leave a lot of that out. Um, but her mother, they have a really weird relationship. So the title, I feel that when reading the book, it's written in poem, like verse kind of. So I feel that Sophie is telling her emotions the way she would tell her mother. Um, obviously, so this book is banned on the banned list, and it gets very... Um, inappropriate at times, I guess, for the age group is why this book is banned, um, according to Marshall University. So, um, Sophie has two very best friends, and she talks a lot with them and goes through this process of what it's like, you know, to grow up without this mother as an only child and having two very best friends. Um, and yeah, so I really enjoyed this book, and I think you all should read it. I think that it has a lot of funny parts. I found myself laughing often because, you know, she's a 15-year-old girl going through high school and explaining love, you know. It's just kind of funny. Um, but like I said, um, Marshall University put up this kind of timeline of the book being banned, and... Um, it kind of goes as follows. So, in 2004, Marshall University states that it was removed from the library shelves of the Rosedale Union School District in Bakersfield, California because of discomfort with Soane's poem, Ice Capades. Um, I will read that for you now. And it goes as this. Sometimes on chilly nights, I stand close to my bedroom window, unbutton my nightgown, and press my breasts against the cold glass just so I can see the amazing trick that my nipples can do. Um, obviously, that is not ideal or what a lot of people would want their 15-year-old daughter reading in a book, but um, at the same point... I feel that what 15 year old girl doesn't wonder or do, you know, really weird things that we never think we would do. Um, 2005, Marshall University states that it was challenged at the Bonnet Junior High School in Deer Park, Texas for foul language and references to masturbation. In 2006, it was challenged for sexual content, content and being unsuited to the age group. Um, I have another example in the book, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, this part of the book, it says, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming of his lips sizzling all the cells in my body, of wishing he would remove every stitch of my clothes. I'm dreaming of him slowly unbuttoning my blouse, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buttons on my blouse. But just as the last one is undone and he reaches out to do what my eyes are commanding him to do, he turns to Murphy. And my dream, and in my dream, this only makes me want him more. And it goes on, but um, like I said, I don't want to tell you because then, you know, yeah. Um, and so that, to me, is an example of... Um, sexual content, I guess, um, being unsuited to the age group. But I don't necessarily agree with banned books, so I think that it's hard because if I'm completely honest with all of you, I don't believe that there's anything in this book that um, a 15-year-old girl without a mother to talk to, I don't feel that there's anything in the book that wouldn't be said or thought of anyway. Um, in a public school or at the grocery or with her friends or on the school bus. I mean, goodness, what do we hear on the school bus, right? So Marshall University goes on. In 2008, um, this book was only available to 7th and 8th graders at the Spring Hill Wisconsin School Library after a parent wanted the book, which deals, they state, with masturbation, groping, and sexual fantasy, among other themes, to be removed from the library and and the accelerated reading program. 
Um, in 2011, it was challenged for sexism, sexually explicit scenes, and being unsuited for age group. And in 2012, it was banned or challenged for nudity, offensive language, and being sexually explicit. Um, so I, I, I like that Marshall went through that, Marshall University went through that timeline, and I think that that, um, helps in a lot of ways explain how often a book can go through so many different things. Um, Sonia Sones is an author that I've read some of her other books just because I've been curious and she goes through and they are risky. They're, they're real, you know, thoughts and she says things and you're like, oh my goodness. But when reading, I never have read something she's written, even in this book, and said, oh, you know, that shouldn't have been allowed or whatever. More or less, I feel like, I'm like, wow, that is pretty crazy that she put that in a book. And it's real. So I think you all should read What My Mother Doesn't Know by Sonia Sones. Um, and hear and learn what Sophie... Um, feels and thinks about love in a real way. Bye.